Hi there. In this video, we're going to create a brand new Web Viewer app using the View framework. We're going to start off by calling npx at view slash CLI create my project. This will take a few minutes to run, so we'll speed this part up. It's going to ask us whether you want to make a View 3 or View 2 app, and we're going to select the default option, which is View 3. It's going to initialize the Git repository and do all of the clever things that we need for scaffolding the project. Great, that's worked. So now we'll navigate to our project and start Visual Studio. OK, before doing anything, let's just make sure that things are working. So we'll start the View server and we can see that we've got a View app running straight out of the box. Let's put that aside for a minute and make some changes to the scaffolded project. We're going to start by installing the Apprise Web Viewer. Now Apprise has recently been rebranded from PDFtron and currently you install the Web Viewer using npm install at pdftron slash Web Viewer, saving it as a dependency. But in the future, this may change to at Apprise Web Viewer. Once it's installed, we need to copy the UI and core folder from at PDFtron Web Viewer in the node modules and copy it into the public folder of our app so that it can actually be served. In this example, I'm putting them into a new folder called lib. OK, let's start editing the code. We're going to create a new view component which we're going to call Web Viewer. And then we need to add template, script, and style tags, and we'll populate each of those in turn. First, let's create a div which will give an ID of Web Viewer, and we're going to refer to it as Viewer Div. We will add some styling, and we'll specify 100% of the viewport height for its height. Now let's start filling in the script part of the component. We need to import ref and on mounted from view. Next, we're going to import the Web Viewer component and we need to export something, so we'll give that the name of Web Viewer. We'll define some properties and at the moment we'll just pass in the initial document that should be shown when the Web Viewer is rendered. We'll give initial doc the type of string. Within setup, we'll pass in the props and specify the viewer div. In on mounted, we need to include the information for instantiating the component. We need to create a constant for the path to the UI and core folders that we copied earlier. We can do that by using the environment variable base underscore URL, which already ends in a slash, and add the name of lib or whatever other folder we use to store the files that we copied from node modules. We can then pass that path into the constructor, the web viewer, and also then specify the initial document, which we'll get from props. This is also the place to specify the license key when you move into production. Finally, we need to specify the viewer div where we're going to mount the component and we need to return that viewer div. That's looking good, so we'll save that. Finally, we're going to head over to app.view. In here, we're going to create a new web viewer tag, and we need to specify the path to the initial doc. This could be a local file, or one specified by URL. In this case, it's located on a PDFtron server. Now we need to import our web viewer component, and we can get rid of the hello world component and the various tags that aren't needed. Making sure that we have our web viewer component specified within the default export. We just need to save everything and restart the server. We can now see that we have a web viewer that contains our PDF and we can annotate it. 
or highlight things in it. Zoom out or zoom in and do all of the great things that WebViewer supports, including editing the PDF or even a Word document. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.